and step six agy equals to ag aby to be zero so t is just the weight itself and that means the tension is just 196.2 newtons so for this problem we found the angular acceleration to be 5.62 and the tension developed in the force is just 196.2 newtons now remember one thing we have no vertical displacement simply because the force is applied perfectly horizontal if for example if another boxer a whether it's a he or she when he or she applies the force not perfectly horizontally but also actually per actually apply at angle for example if it applies the force at inclined angle with the vertical component like this suppose another force is applied like this like this right if the force is actually applied like this and then this t will no longer be just the weight of the punch bag there's going to be vertical component contributed by this external force so the reason we have these two values and this answer for this problem is because the force f is applied perfectly horizontal that's why a g y is zero but if that's not the case and this point b will move upward as well as the center of gravity All right, is that clear for this problem? Okay, I know I, I know I spend a little bit more time explaining the connections between force equilibrium in this problem. But I just like to highlight that in every dynamics problem, you will use the concept from the topics that you learned before which is why you always need to practice because in reality you will always need to use some of them some of the topics some of the concepts that you learned before So professor, anytime there's a vertical force applied in this type of problem, we can just assume that the tension is going to be the weight? And when there's a vertical component, the tension will not be the weight. If there's a vertical component, well, how do we know that? You can just take a look at this, right? The tension equation is T minus 20 times 9.81, right? That's what we consider. But when there is a vertical component of the force, suppose it's like this. Suppose it's at 30 degrees. And that means it's 30 Newton, and 30 degrees means it's one half, right? So that means the vertical component is 15 Newton. Right, if that's the case. And the horizontal component is just 0.861 times 30, so it's like about 26, something like that. And so here, the vertical component is 15. That means on the left-hand side of your equation, you have the tension force here. You have the weight, 20 point times 9.81, which is 196.2 Newtons. And the T here, you have this force, this weight, and also this force that you have to consider. So on the left-hand side, you have to add another thing, plus 15 to be zero. So with this 15 Newton force, would that affect the value of T? Yes. Right, right. so it's only on the horizontal component that would be considered the tension to be the weight, right? 
the horizontal component of the force will only affect the horizontal component of linear acceleration. So when there is a vertical component of the force, it's going to affect the vertical component of all the forces. In this case, if you add 15 here, the whole thing will be zero. What, hap what, ha what happens to this force T here? And the, the one we saw before, it was what? It was 196, right? But if you add another 15 here, this T will be 196 minus 15, which is 1. 81 newtons compared to when there's no horizontal component is 196 newtons so this is the case when you have force applied like this and this is the case when you have force applied horizontally now you look at these two of course it makes sense if a boxer applies a vertical component to this punch bag it's going to really reduce the tension why? Because the punch bag is going to move, right? Upward. Because you apply the force vertically. You apply the force upward, it's going to reduce the tension. And similarly, what if a boxer applies the force not upward, but it's actually inclined downward? What happens to that? If that's the case, if you apply the force like this, if this is the force and if this is 30 degree, correct? Yes. And if it happens like this, now it's going to add more force to the tension. So if that's the case, the tension is going to be 196 plus 15 because this one will add to this, which is going to be. 211, right? So this is the case when the force is applied this way. So there are three different cases. Horizontal is this value. If the force applies upward, it's 181. If it applies downward, it's 211 Newtons. Thank you, Professor. Now that is clear. Okay, sure. All right.